Hey everyone, in this video I'm very excited to share with you a quick way in which we can stand up an endpoint that interacts with our SQL DB. We'll be able to run operations against our database just by sending a request to that endpoint. So let's jump right in. Starting out, I am at wayscript.com and we're inside of one of my workspaces. From here, we can create something called a layer and this layer allows us to build our code all in one place into an environment. So we'll be using a template for this tutorial. If you scroll down, you'll see an SQL HTTP template. We'll name our layer and we'll click on create. And what this does is copy some default code for us into our layer that we can start interacting with. And I'll show you the specifics that we need to do to get this up and working. So as you already see, a endpoint is created for us. This will be where a user sends a request to, to do the interaction on our DB. This is provided here. We have a dev and a prod one. So when we're finished, we'll be sure to deploy this to our production endpoint. Next, we'll click on develop on the left. From here, you see that we have a couple of files. We have a requirements.txt and a execute sql.py. To talk through everything that we're doing here, we are using Python to connect to our database. We're using a Python library to do that. That library is in our requirements.txt of my SQL connector Python. How we're connecting is with these few lines here. So we're creating a mydb variable using credentials from your database. These credentials will come from where you're hosting your DB. So if you're hosting it on AWS, your credentials will be within your AWS console. So what that means is you will have to replace host, user, your password. The port will likely be the same, but it may change and the database name. A note here is that we're using a secret for our DB password and we'll need to create that. You do that by clicking on this plus and going to dot secrets. From here, we'll open the secrets tab. We'll click on new secret and this will need to match the password of our database and be called DB password. Now that we have that password in place in our secrets file, our connection should be good if you've pulled all those values from your DB. Next, we have our SQL step. This will just be the SQL that you want to perform on your database. You see here that we just have a few lines of a simple interaction of selecting all the values from a earnings table within our DB. Using those values, we are just printing them to the terminal. You could do something more with these results, like passing them back as a response. But in this example, we're just keeping it simple and just printing them in the Wayscript logs. Finally, we want the user to send a request to us. So whenever that happens, they need a response. We're creating that response here. There's a few lines just to talk to. What context is allowing us to do it is a Wayscript variable. What it's allowing us to do is to get information from the user that is accessing our endpoint. Wayscript password protects all endpoints by default. And what that means is that a user needs to be within your workspace to access endpoints by default. We can of course change this to public, but you might not want to if this is exposing your DB. So using the Wayscript library, we can get information about those users. We can get groups that they're associated to, their name, when they're accessing it, and a lot more. We're just printing that information here. And finally, we're creating a response and sending that response back. So that explains all the code. One important note is that this is an environment. So anything that you want to be installed on your production site needs to go into your requirements.txt. With all of that done, we will click on deploy and deploy our application. And that's all it takes to get up and running with SQL within Wayscript. Hopefully you see how straightforward it is and how easy it is to deploy endpoints that allows us to access our SQL database all from a simple interface inside of Wayscript. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please let us know and we'll be happy to help. Until next time.